he been doing? There's a bloody knife there. Where is this? Where's what? Do you know where Prince Lawrence lives? If he's a prince, probably relocated in the South Bronx. Yellow building, red window shutters. Red frames. Yep, that's the one. I can take us there. All right, let's go. Nobody right now. Anything we can use? Yeah, that'll have to do for now. Come on, we're going over there. Sorry, I have to get that. Hello, Woodland's business office. Yes, I... He is. Hold on. Bigby, it's for you. Oh, interesting. Hello? Bigby, it's me. Hello. You there? What do you want? Bigby, shit. Listen, right? There's a bloke upstairs going through all the woodsman's things. Get over here, Bigby, before he... Oh, wait, hang on. Boy, shit. Hey! What was that about? Hard to say. Something going on over at Toad's place. What about Faith's husband? I don't know. I couldn't really tell. But he could be in trouble. And we should go there anyway to search her apartment. Toad might have to wait. Whenever you're ready. Uh, yeah, I'm ready. Let's do it, Snow. Did Toad say who was there? Was it the woodsman? Uh, Somebody else. It's possible. Whoever it was, it didn't seem like Toad was happy to see him. Well, maybe Prince Lawrence can wait. Yeah, he didn't see him. He could use some help, too. You got a choice here, huh? Well, where to first? Big B, shit. Listen, right? There's a bloke upstairs going through all the woodsman's things. You think he did it? What's her husband's name? Lawrence. Prince Lawrence. Oh. Sorry, Toad. I mean, it sounded like trouble, but if I were in a detective and it was my job and I saw that knife and everything, I would be like, that that would be the only thing that on my mind. So I realize you're in trouble and maybe this choice will end up, you know, getting you killed or something because I'm not there first, but... You think he did it? I gotta investigate. What's your name? We need to this. tell him about his wife. He deserves to know. You're right. And Toad's a tough Toad. He can probably handle himself for a few hours. Let's hope he can. stay here any longer than we have to so let's just pick an approach and stick to it okay just humor me when the magic mirror showed me this apartment I think I saw a knife inside covered in what looked like blood I wasn't expecting that yeah. well like I said let's not overcomplicate things you can question him while I look around for him and if he objects we are here on official Fable Town business and we can be persuasive if necessary. Or you can. Rawr. Nobody's gonna open the door, dude. Just just open. Lawrence, you in there? It's not gonna... Do you climb the pipe? Ah, there you go. Hey. Hey. He's dead, dude. All right. 
We'll try this out. Guess we're out of options. Come on, help me up. Probably been dead for a while. Yeah, yeah. he is. Oh, God. We're too late. That makes two fables dead. We need to figure out what the hell is going on here. Who would do this to them? I don't know, Snow. Okay, let's see what we got here. Let's look at the body. He has pills next to him, but obviously he has wounds to his hands. Probably not by himself. Not done by himself, though. Dry. You know, this is. I mean, this is a wow. Look at his skin color. They never really look. Peaceful, do they? I wouldn't know. That left a mark. Ruined his shirt. Yeah, I got the pills. What are they? Prescription sleeping pills. Doesn't really help. I guess that explains the whole here. Fingerprints? They'll be on the grip and the trigger. There's a shell too. It matches the caliber of the gun on the floor. We're getting all these items here. That's it, huh? We got the dagger or the knife. It's sharp. There's blood on the blade. Is that the same knife you saw in the mirror? Yeah. I don't know why it's over here. I just don't understand. Why would someone want to kill him? Now that is asking the right question. Why indeed? Still a little sticky. here what is that my dearest faith I need oh I never meant something something it's stuck to the bed a little my dearest faith I never meant to hurt you and I cannot endure knowing that I have this was for the best I'll see you again love your devoted Lawrence should know his face. There are so few of us. I should know his face. <gasps> oh my god, Bigby, he's alive! What? What are you doing here? Let's get you back up. Oh, what are you doing here? Oh, that's why he has so many. He had pills, guns, oh, knife to actually... Please. Found you here. Kill him because they're so difficult to kill. Thought was a fatal injury. We should call Swinehart. Have him take a look at you. Wait a second on that snow. You know who I am? Yes. Good. I have a few questions. Why? What? 
What's this about? When was the last time you saw your wife, Lawrence? Oh, look at my eyes! I don't know. They're turning yellow! A few weeks ago. She... came by to get some things. That's what she said. But I, I think it was so she could leave some money. I, I didn't find it till later. We've been separated for some time now. Lawrence, what did you do? I made a decision for us. It felt like the only way out. So I shot myself in the heart. I oh, thought I'd be dead by now. It hurts like fucking hell. Your heart's actually a little more to the center. Probably had a lung. Great. <sighs> At least that's how I think it happened. Things are a little fuzzy. Thought it was a bad dream. Why did you do it, Lawrence? I did it because I was ashamed. I, I couldn't live with myself, knowing I had done that to her. I did what I could to keep her away. But she still worries about me. She comes by, makes sure I'm okay. I'm a fucking burden. I'm useless. I don't want her to have to worry about me anymore. She's better off without me. Without me being here to drag her down. She deserves that. She's been through a lot. I just wish I could have done better by her. She's always been there for me. Go away. I'm sorry to inform you that your wife has been killed. No. No. No, no, no. I knew this would happen. No, I'm sorry. I am. But I'm gonna need you to help me find whoever did this. So you need to try and remember anything that could possibly help us. Georgie. Uh, who? Lawrence. I, uh... Do you? Are you expecting anyone? We'll see who it is. No, wait. I need to know why whoever's out there is breaking in. I need your help. What do I do? Just play dead. What? Trust me. You can't move in your condition anyway, so just stay still. The second we figure out what they're here for, the big people will arrest them. Roger that! Thanks Got my handcuffs. Give me back the gun, just in case. I guess he doesn't have to blink, huh? Because he's a magical. Who's that? I don't know who that is. Is it Humpty Dumpty or what? <laughs> he's an ugly. Ugly motherfucker, though. Do not. Time. Stop. Leave me alone. Oh God. Oh, 
Dodging like a pro. Hitting that Q button. Obviously here. Window! Window! He almost gave you the slip? I don't know what that means. Okay. Now, hey, ease up, Bippy. We're on the same side here. You son of a bitch, make me run after you. Who are you? What? Who are you? Listen, man, I'm a private investigator. BI, huh? You're looking for the woodsman, right? My employer is looking to ask him a few questions, too. God, you are very handsome. No, dude, who... What were you doing back there? Checking out the guy who was married to the girl. Seemed a good place to start. Tracking down leads. What That's probably also the one that was at Toad's oh, house. I can't tell you that. It's confidential. Sorry. Sure you understand? Nope. Can't say that I do. Come on, you're coming with me. This could have been easy. <laughs> Don't worry. It still is. Come on. Dumb. Dumb? Yeah, it is. Look, it'd be much easier for no, you to... No, I'm D. Yeah, see Humpty Dumpty. He's dumb. <gasps> he almost looked peaceful. Yep. Except you're lying in a dirty alley. Yep. With an open wound on the back of your head. Yep. Where'd they go? Well, after the one guy hit you, and the other one finished kicking you... That explains the ribs. Then they jumped into a car and drove off. Come on, get up. We should check in on Toad. See if there's anything there that can get us back on the trail. All right. You might be angry why we why it took us so long to get to Toad, but okay. And we ended up going out the window, and I landed on Toad's car. You guys made a real mess. Yeah, looks worse than the day. I don't think anybody's here. We came all this way for nothing. <laughs> all right, son. All right, he's gone. He's left. It's over now. <laughs> Is that his son? Toads, I think. Be nice in there, okay? Hey, Toad, you in there? <laughs> Big B and Miss White. Surely you didn't come all this way just for my bother. Sorry, Big B. It's embarrassing to have to admit, but uh, I thought there was someone else in Woody's place. There wasn't, though. Uh, not when I checked. Nothing but a leaky drain pipe. Imagination must have got the best of me. Wow. So, yeah. I made the right choice there. Sorry for dragging Miss White into this, but thanks for coming. Much appreciated. Are you sure there wasn't anyone here? Uh, not that I saw. 